All right, so let's talk about why the Warrior G4 glove is my favorite trapper of all time. Coming up next. Voice over goalie. Hey guys, Wayne the VO Goalie here. My channel is all about bringing you awesome goalie content. So if you've liked, subscribed, or commented on one of my videos, you are totally awesome. So it's been a while since I've done a Warrior G4 video, and I wanted to take some time today to talk to you about why I think this glove is the best glove of all time. I'm gonna pull it apart for you so you can see how the liner goes in and out, and we're also gonna play around with this guy, the palm insert from the factory. So gloves are a super personal thing. You know, they come in a whole bunch of different flavors. Sometimes they feel like baseball gloves, sometimes they feel like pancakes, sometimes they have cheater bars, sometimes they're one piece or two piece, single T, double T, skate lace, regular pocket, with binding, binding less. I mean, the list goes on and on. So before I get into my favorite glove, let me know your favorite glove and why in the comments below. And you might have noticed that my table looks a little different. That's because this is my dining room table and I ended up refinishing it this week. So, I mean, I think it makes for a nicer presentational design. I mean, yeah, everything I do, I'm doing it for you. Yeah, that's not true. I mostly did it for my wife. Oh, yeah, and if you want this awesome t-shirt, check out my merch on Teespring. Link's in the description below. Don't forget to check me out over on Instagram to find a promo code valid for this month only. All right, let's talk about the strapper. Um, if you want a more in-depth review, I go into it right here. But for today, let's crack it open and see what the inside liner is all about. So really, the glove opens up pretty easily. There is this backhand strap. This side strap. And then the whole thing just pops right open. Uh, to really open it up, you can unvelcro the cuff on the side. And now we can see that the glove is pretty much exposed in the internals. So like I go into in my review video, I went with a 60 degree liner, which is more of a thumb to finger closure as opposed to a 75 or a 90, which is, I believe, more of a finger to palm closure. I don't have another liner, so I can't really tell you. But let's break this apart and I'll show you how you take this out. So there's one finger strap and then a three point harness strap for the backhand. So we can just undo this and then one, two, three. So with these straps undone, the palm is just velcroed in. So we can pull this off and take out the finger part. and take out the whole thing out of the thumb. So now this is a really good look at the internals that you don't really get a chance to see in any of the product videos. When I got this glove, it did have this cuff pad already installed in it. But you can just take that right out. Otherwise, there are three main Velcro parts. There's one right here for where your thumb is, one right here, almost the break, and one right here for the fingertips. And if we take a look at the liner by itself, you can really see it has a fingers to thumb closure. So while we got this guy out, I know what we should do. So before I throw it in the washing machine, I end up putting it into a delicates bag just to keep all of the Velcro and straps and everything out of the way of all my other stuff. And then I just dump it in with my regular laundry and make sure I hang dry it afterwards. So let's look at this palm thing. I've not actually used this before, uh, so this is the first time for me too. The palm is the same kind of foam that the cuff pad is, and it has a hook and loop on either side stitched in. Where could this palm go? I'm guessing the palm insert goes right across this strip of Velcro. So like that. which spans where you want that protection to go. So with that all inserted, let's put this back together and see how the pro palm, practice palm, practice palm, I'll go with practice palm. So let's put this back together and see how the practice palm feels. Putting the liner in is pretty easy. It's just like you took it out. I would line this part up first and then get your thumb in and then finally finish with the fingertips because that seems to be the easiest thing to do. So put this 
right in there, on top of that pad. And the thumb kind of just has to be wedged into the thumb channel. So now we can reconnect this three-point harness. Okay, so let's see what this practice pump feels like. Oh yeah, see? With it installed, I can... I can't close the glove. It won't close. So here's a before and after shot of what it's like to close the glove with the palm insert and without the palm insert. Yeah, so from that, I would definitely say it's a practice palm. So if you're a guy like my buddy Henrik who doesn't like to close his glove, yeah, this could be it for you. Also, if you want to beef your glove for practice, putting it in is super easy. Oh man, this practice palm. Yeah, you can't close it. You can't close it. You guys can't see it, but uh, my overhead camera, it's, it's my GoPro. Yeah, hanging from my chandelier. I think it looks pretty awesome. <laughs>